Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. Just wanted to make you guys a quick video. And show you, I know y'all all wondering what's going on here with this nose gear, okay? Uh, I ain't glued that one back on yet. Still in good shape, just got one little scrape on it. Well, it's got a fix, but I'm still, I'm gonna wait a little bit before I put the new one on. <laughs> yeah. I ordered two of them, but this was the first time I had that issue of it flopping back and forth. It pulled out of that, that little brass deal there. This shaft pulled out of that little brass deal right there. It screwed in. I don't think it was threaded in there very far. But my first, that's the first time that's happened. My first issues was right here at this clevis where it put the shaft and the, that shaft together. See that little nut thing? It was real sloppy. That thing would bend way down. And I saw JB welded that. That's all stiff. I think it stiffened it up so much because he's seen it. We've seen what happened with the, because of the Bobo cam. When it went down, it's pulling. It said snap, and then it started flopping. And then the gear doors, what? What <laughs> pulled it up in there? But uh, I threaded that thing on there, and I JB welded that bad boy too. So I don't think I'm gonna have that issue no more. See, when it retracted, it's pulling. Bam, and it just kept pulling. So I think I got it fixed. <laughs> The poor nose, <laughs> but it's still in good shape. See, when I did it the first time, I came in here and put like five, six layers of glass right there, then sanded it around. So as soon as I get that issue solved, I'll do that again. I'll just pop me five, six layers of glass on that little spot, and then sand it around and paint it from here back forward again. And, I'm going to wait till I get that issue solved. I think I got her fixed. And then the bobble cam mount was bad. That thing took awesome pictures. I thought it would be a lot louder right there next to the turbine. Someone asked me if it's something, a lot of grass. I don't know because it, it, there was a little bit in there, but we got a fog screen, baby. None gets to the turbine. So I just got that screwed to that. That little uh, my drop tank rail and it took some awesome videos but that was my issue and I think I got it fixed so I'm gonna glue that bang, gear door back on there and get this thing put away get my mess cleaned up I had fun yesterday but it was cold and windy man but I am going to the resin store this morning and I'm going to get us restocked on supplies. And we're going to get back to work today, baby. Do a quick cleaning on the shop. Oh, Wes was over. Wes got him one of them haboos. And you know, I really never paid a lot of attention to them things. Them things fly great, man. And they're, they're really well made. Foamy. And uh, the price is right. Them things fly good. Plenty of power. The battery lasts a long time and uh just vertical unlimited them haboos really fly good i was impressed even in that wind yesterday what <laughs> wes is the video man so we didn't get none of it videoed <laughs> but it flew good and uh, that's all i got for you but we're gonna be back today with some more bob tv get back to some thunder chief building action so we'll see you back in the shop say bob tap say bob station this episode of bob tv was broadcasted in philovision this is a drama free zone